may I just have that, please? That, that, that clip. <laughs> just to, like overlay in my intro. That'd be so cool. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready. Welcome to the stream. We're continuing where we were last year. Welcome back to Spook Annuary. So this was originally meant to be part of Spooktober. So I'm, I'm just rolling with it. It's going to be Spookbury yes. on Tuesday, so... Spookbury. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it when we get into March? I think it will be done by March. <laughs> March. <Yeah. laughs> spook Arch. The spooky arch. <laughs> the march of the fallen dreams. There we go. <laughs> Sparch. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. What is that funny? <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm thinking of other months now. Spay. That was funny. <laughs> no, that one is funny. Spoon. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> this is taking a really long time to load the checkpoint. It really is. It really is. I had time to go back to my web browser and open the chat. <laughs> uh. Oh, jeez. Sply? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you became an SP at some point. It was literally like spook. <laughs> So that actually worked well for me, right? Like, like spook dash ay. Oh, here we go. Hello, hello, hello. I'm in a room with a soul system. This is a bit further back than where we were last time, I think. But oh well. Oh, there we go. I'm just trying to remember how to talk. Right. No, this is exactly where we were. No, we were actually like in the room with the next puzzle. Yeah, we just already done this cutscene, I think. Huh? Ah, you did it! Listen, the purpose of this tower was to create what's called a, a, a soul stone. Now I need you to find all the pieces. One of them is in here, in the greenhouse. Find it. Once you're done, come find me in the High Alchemist's quarters. Will do. Good luck. Okay, so we literally just seen that cutscene before. Yeah, I'm in the right place. Um, any idea what on earth we do? I know there's like pipes we can pick up and like riddle around, and that's about it. You just ended. I literally heard ended. My cutscene's only just ended. Oh, okay. Um, do you remember? What I, well, we never quite figured out what we had to do. This is where we ended, wasn't it? So we had to pick up some pipe from somewhere. Here's one. Yeah, so I've just picked up, I think, all of my pipes. Um, and then we've got to try and do stuff. As well. So there's like switches on the wall which activate different flames, and we, which are like primary colours. And we have to make it form the other colours, I think. I've got yellow, uh, or orange, and blue, and I think you've got something else. I've got a red. Is there any, uh, like, nursery school children in here? Could they please tell us how this works? <laughs> <laughs> I might as well just turn this on to make a start, I guess. Okay, so the red's getting this far. So obviously red and something forms orange. So I've got to get this to the orange. 
No, I just get them all in here somehow. I've got all my flames lit. Yeah, do you have any barrels in your area? Uh, I believe so. Do they have like a status indicator on them? Because mine have like a status indicator on them and then mine are also empty. I'm just going up to have a look. Mine just say take on them. Click on it, see what it does. I have a cup of something that I can now drink, apparently. I don't want to tell you to drink it, but drink it. I drank it, I think I might be drunk. My controls are inverted. Fun, fun, fun. In the sun, sun, sun. I want to lie, shit, Rex and Comedus. This is horrible. The, the controls are horrible. Do you not know the rest of the Red Dwarf theme? Yeah, I just... I'm not going to sing it. Drinking Crash, Mango Juice, Goldfish Shorts. So I've got a puzzle thing here. Oh wait, there's more stuff on here. It's got cogs, ladders, and a north pointing thing. I have no idea what that means, but I just found more uh, pipes that I didn't pick up last time. So can I just, what happens if I just connect these two together? It all breaks. Okay, so let's not do that. Where's Callum's flame coming in? That's what I don't understand. Let's do the actually the orange one. So it's coming in from there, it's coming through here, into here. So I reckon I want one of those, like, not there. My flames were red for a second then. I have no idea what we're trying to do. Okay, so green is like orange, in the orange and blue, I think. Um, orange is what is orange? I reckon it's red and yellow, and then purple will be blue and green. So maybe we need to do them like one at a time. So if you turn, well, let's start with the red one. Um, so let's, I'll turn off blue and turn on yellow. Okay. Yeah, 
I need to figure out how to mix them together. Yeah. Somehow. Made orange. Yeah, we have, but it's not getting to the place that it needs to go to. Turn yours off for a second, I'm really confused. Just turn yours off. Mine's off. Okay, so if I turn orange on... And turn red on? Red's coming on. So it's coming in here and it's coming down here and into here. So this is the orange fire, isn't it? So I just need like the straight one. idea what we're doing. So the red's coming in through, like, let's pull orange for a second. So the red is coming through here, it's coming through here. No, I have no idea. Here. <coughs> and then it's apparently also somehow coming down here. Sorry, could you leave red on? Yep, going back to switch now. So do you have like pieces of pipe that you can put in your thing? Yes. <laughs> what can you... Like... How does it work? Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Uh, I've got like a, a full way cross, um, connects up two pipes, like a corner piece, a straight piece and a T piece. And then I guess we can mix the flames somehow using that, but I, I don't know. Hang on, that goes in there. Nope. And he's like a full way here. No, like, what if I just... Okay, well that's just feeding him back to that. So I wonder if how you position yours affects like how it comes through to me. Uh, it could do. Let me try changing some stuff. Now it's going off. Right, so I've taken all of my pieces out. Okay, so I'm not, is, is the red still on? Because I'm not getting anything in my area now. So maybe you were right. Yeah, the red is still on. So maybe you were right to begin with, and I'm just an idiot. Are you getting any red? Yes, I'm now getting red. So 
to do. You need like a straight one to get it in. Did you change something? Yes. Could you unchange it? I think I was close. Did that give you it back? Yes, yes it did. Okay, so it's like a pressure. No, it may have I don't understand the puzzle. Like, I feel like I need to see what you're seeing. I have a feeling, because I've got numbers next to my flames. Do you have numbers next to your flames? I do. I wonder if we need to make a certain colour for each flame, so, like, five has to be blue or something. No, I don't think so. So there's like storage tanks in my room. And I, like with levels on them. And I reckon that we need to fill them each up with levels somehow. So the red is getting there. If I turn this on. Right. How? <laughs> so is this orange? This is orange coming in here. So that means this is orange, so if I just place that in there. Then this is orange. And then this is orange. And it's going all the way in. So, were you saying something? No, sorry, I accidentally right clicked. Cool. Um. Yeah, I basically don't know. So, like, I'm really confused. So I've got orange flame going into the orange barrel, but the orange barrel doesn't seem to be, like, growing in intensity. Do you have seeds? No, I don't believe so. Okay. Let me just check, but why? I've got a book where I can take a cup of something and I'd need seeds to add it together and make something else. The only other thing in my room is some cops, um, which I can't pick up, and some books, which I also can't pick up. Right, okay. I guess the gas is first then. Yeah, it's gotta be. I feel like when I'm in a greenhouse that might be like the next thing, but who knows. So I'm just looking, if there's like a pressure meter at the top of the barrels, I wonder if I have to get like the pressure meter all the way up for it to start filling. Because there's still like some leaking here, so I wonder if I need to fix that first. That could be. I wonder if the numbers are to help us communicate between each thing. Um, your number three, turn it or change it or do something. Sorry, my number three, turn it to what? Don't know. I turned. Okay, so that's bringing it up. I just rotated two. the pipe, it's turned it off for me. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, I think I understand how this works. So the numbers that I'm seeing in my room is like inputs from your room. So, um, can you change it so somehow so that just number one is on? Uh, yes. Okay. There you go. Well, I say that, that's lit up my entire other side now. There we go. How's that? Um, TBD. Roger that. So it's coming in from there and from there. But the pressure is really low. Well, I have a major leak over here. I guess the next step for me is to plug this leak now and hope it's up. Yeah. Which I have now done. Why did we just go across it? Okay, so I'm getting it right now from five and four. Is there any way you could redirect it so it's coming from one? Just one. So it's coming from just one. Um, no. Yes, you can, because it just works. We've got a barrel done. Yes. Sorry, I spoke over you. Uh, I said, yes, you can, because it just works. We've got one barrel down. We have the orange barrel. Right, sweet. Do we need to get a just red barrel? No, no, we don't. We need to get a purple and a green. So for the green, we need to combine the red and the blue. Or the orange and the blue. I reckon that's just me. Turn the red off, I reckon it's just me. I reckon it's the orange and the blue. Roger that, red is off. I'm just gonna pull everything out. Okay, so yellow is coming into here, which is good. So if I direct the... Which one are we trying to do? We're trying to do the purple one, aren't we? Um, no, wait. Which one are we trying to do? We're doing yellow and blue. Yellow and blue makes purple. Yes, yeah, it makes purple. So... Do you see either of my colored flames coming through? I only see the yellow. That is good, I can work with that, I think. So I need you to divert the yellow away from two. Away from two, hang on. Then if I have it coming in from here, I can bring the blue along here into here. And then use something to, yeah, use the T-junction. I've diverted it from two, but it's going through three now. Uh, yeah, I see that. Um, uh, I probably don't know. Um, I, hold on. So I'm thinking 
there. Well, so I'm trying to get the blue through here, into here, into here. I see blue coming from two. Okay. Okay, well, I've made green, but I've still got a leak. Do you have any leaks? Yeah, I've got leaks. I'm trying to fix them now. We got it. We got it. We got green. We got green. Woo! Okay, I finally feel like I'm starting to understand this puzzle a bit. So, last one is purple, which is going to need the blue and the red, I reckon. I'm gonna turn off the yellow. I'm just gonna start from a clean slate. So the blue. Okay, so the red. I reckon that exact same pattern will just work. Do you have any leaks? I have no leaks. So I have a leak. There. Blue into there, can I have a leak though? And then I could maybe find them earlier. There's no rule that says we have to combine them at the end. So, what if I combine them in this one? What the hell we're doing is unclear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn off the blue and see if we can figure out the red one first. Okay. okay it's currently coming from one. It's coming in here. So I'm currently sending red out of one. That's purple. Which is really confusing because I have, and uh, I have. Do you, do you have any leaks? Yes. Yeah. So do I. Actually, we need to fix the leaks. So I think I need you to not send from one. Not send from one. I can do that. I have a leak from one now, which I can't fix without sending to one. Okay, send it back from one again. I've got green. That column's broken in a loop. Okay, this one's like really hard. Okay, so I basically need the red. Where do I need the red to come from? If the red came from the bottom. Right, so how, how does it get hit? So, is it possible for you to direct the red through five without any leaks? I will give it a go. See if you can direct it through five, then we can move it just from here. It's yellow. Let me turn this one off. I'm just gonna live with that for now and see if it becomes a problem. And then I wanna send the blue into there. I mean I've got purple and no leaks. 
but I have purple and many leaks, but I'm seeing if I can fix it. This can, I don't understand how this works, because there's a leak there. The only way I can close that is by turning the orange on. Okay, so I'm really confused. I'm getting a leak. Okay, we're going to have to bypass this without going to one somehow. Right, okay, so my red comes in right next to one. So we've got to send nothing to one so, for there's no leaks. So you can't send anything to one either. No. So basically, one, one basically comes into like a fix, like an already installed T-junction. One side goes off towards the barrels and the other side goes into the yellow one. And so I basically, but I can't turn the yellow one on without breaking the colour. So it has to just not come through there, I think. Right, okay. Are you able to stop sending that purple through one? Now it's going through two. So if he brings it through four, can I get that to work? No, I don't think so. Uh, if he brings it through... I mean, what if we combine it earlier? Can we do that? I guess we must be able to. So what if we do this? We get purple. Okay, so now I just have to get this purple. No, I see purple, no leaks. Without breaking anything. <gasps> I reckon this will work. Yes! Hey! I realised I could make the purple earlier. I thought I had to make it at the end. My door's open. Why is there a... Oh, what's it called? The one... Um, oh, what's the thing called with the flowers that eat people? Triffids. Why is there a triffid in here? <laughs> and the door closed behind me. Okay. I can also now take taps of each of these colours, apparently. Right, okay. Okay, going towards the plan has no consequences. Is this the next puzzle or am I walking somewhere? So I have a book. So when you um, when you take something out of the tap, does it give you a bucket of it or a cup of it? One moment, please. A, a bucket. Right, that's good. Are you able to send that bucket to me? Because I know there's a, a thing here that goes between us. I'm sending like a minecart to you now. This has a really glitched animation. There's like a corner in the thing, but it just went straight on. Right, I have received that. I need a bucket of green. I need you to send it back then. It's on its way. I like how these puzzles connect together. Green on its way. The Triffid doesn't eat me by the way, I walked right up to it and it didn't do anything. Explore, so wait for the next instruction from Karen. <coughs> this is a really slow climb. I'm regretting my decision.
Uh, now I've just got to figure out what I do with these. I turn the thing. But now there's more things spinning. I'm doing a thing. I have made a cup of green. Do we need that? I can't get out of there. I don't know. Oh, hang on. What? What are you doing? Drowning? What are you doing? Why can't I climb up? My cogs are moving. Yeah, I climbed down into a thing and pulled the valve. I probably should have done that. And now um, it's filling with water. I think I'm going to drown. I can't climb out again. Uh, my cogs have stopped moving, but they were moving before. The symbols on them, is that relevant? Potentially. It's basically the same symbols we had before. Like the Saturn, the Sun, the Moon, the Comet, the Star and the Stars. There's like a compass on it and North is pointing between the Sun and the Saturn. Yeah, I have no idea. I, I can see North on this thing. I am literally drowning. <laughs> I seem to be able to swim, so... I, no, no, I can't swim, I'm just jumping. Okay, you just turned it. I think you need to make a way for me to get out. So stop whatever you were just turning there. Move whatever you were just turning back one. Move it back one? Move it back two. There's like something turning. I don't know how to move it back, I only know how to move it in one direction. Well, move it in a circle, just keep moving it, hurry! <laughs> I'm moving it. Stop, 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 stop! Crap you. Okay, go again. <laughs> We're gonna fail this, by the way, the water's like way over my head. Stop! Why? 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 You made it like two when I told you to stop. It, you telling me to stop never came through. Well, shit. Move it again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I basically can't see anymore. <laughs> I saw video light up and I panicked. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I need another one moving. The planet's one, and the Saturn one, I need you to move it. I don't know what that is. I am... just... move a different thing. Moving one. It's one, not the right one. Oh no, wait, it is, it is. It's keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Stop. There's one more, move it. Trying. It's a dot with the dots around it, if that helps. It doesn't. I wonder what happens if he moves to one and one. Get out of there! <laughs> yes, yes, I'm it's this one. one. It's this one. It's this one. It's this one. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One more. Stop. 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 Okay, one more. It's the star supernovae looking one. I don't know if that helps. It doesn't. 
speed! I speed! This is the last one. This one, no, wait, there might be one more after this, but I, I need you to start turning it to. I am trying. The water is coming, Calum! I've jammed the whole thing. Is it going? Uh, it's not the right one, but it's fine. Keep moving it. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. That was the moon one that you just moved. Um, that was helpful. It was also in the wrong place. I just need the star one now. Mate, this is so difficult. So I wonder if the compass is important. So if north is between the Saturn and the sun one, so from the sun, it's sun, moon, comet, star. Um, so the star is next to the comet one. So it's like the one to the left of south. Yes, yes, yes. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my days, I don't know how I survived that. Achievement, what are you waiting for? Can I use this now? Mate, I had like this weird puzzle thing that I had to move all the cogs into a line from one single cog and there was two, it, if you got those cogs in it, would jam the whole mechanism. Well, um, yeah, I think I could have helped you by, like, I think what I was looking at maybe told you what was what, but I don't know. Right. No idea what the purpose of that was, I was literally just exploring around. Right, we, um, I need a plant. A drift. Um, it's like it's a mushroom with a fat base, small head, and two big eyes and a big O mouth. Best description ever, I know. I I now have a trail. Yay! I think you need this cup of green that I made. Can I have the cup of green? Oh, I think the fountainy thing that I almost died probably in was to get the water. It's like a water pipe that leads to another thing, um, which is now filling with water. Uh, I think that's where I made plants. I've sent you a cup of green and then just everything else in my inventory. Any idea what I do with the cup of green? No. Oh, I need a cup of red as well. I have something. I'm sending it to you. Okay. Yes, that's what I needed. I made the same mistake you did. <laughs> I should not have drunk the green. It's the only thing I could do with it, though. <laughs> How long does this last? Not that long. Oh, it's already done. So do you need more of those? No, I think I just need this one, but I don't know how to do what I need to do with it. Because there's more plants that I can plant. Oh, this plant and that makes a cup of red. Well, what would I need the cup of red for? Oh, I get it. Right. I've got a recipe book thing here for four plants. Or four seeds, I don't know. It must be plants. And it says, like, the seed for... A bunch of radishes or whatever the hell that is is the seed plus red equals that plant 
So I guess you've got to grow these four plants. So I'm making you a cup of red now. Thank you. Not clear what I need the red for. Oh, let's see if you grow these ones. These ones aren't growing. What do they look like? Uh, right now they just look like sprouts. I can't remember which bag I took them out of though. Oh, uh, I think it's a radish bag. Sweet. I'm sending you the red now. Yeah, it was the radish, radish bag. I do not like the noises that the Triffid is making, but I feel like it is dangerous. <laughs> okay, I put the red on it and it's not doing anything. You sure that's the right seed? Nope. Let me just remove everything and start again, and we'll, I will actually do it with you describing it to me rather than me grabbing things and planting things. How does that sound? Sounds good. Dispose of these things that I don't want. Trippet. Yeah, I wanted to eat my crap. Eat my crap, Trippet. Is there a way to drop into the tree in this game? Not that I know of. Okay, I just live with that in my inventory. We might need it later anyway. So, describe to me the seed that I'm looking for. Oh, right, one second, I'm just running to the book. Cool. Right, so it's um, it's a bit like it's like a radishy colour, um, but as though it was um an aubergine, but a bunch of them, three of them. What colour are your radishes? Uh, a more rich colour than this radishy colour. Can I please have uh, red again? Uh, let me tell you the thing. Yep. So I was planting the one that was like the, the purpley radish coloured before, so I know that's why we got confused. <laughs> Come. Me the train. How's the reds coming, Callum? Well, um, you didn't send me the plant. What do you need for the red? I need that weird plant thing again. Oh, send it back. I think it was this one. Oh wait, is it this? I think it's this. Don't know. Who is this? Describe to me the weird planty thing. <laughs> well. It's that fat bottomed mushroom with a little head, the two eyes and the big O mouth. I was thinking it's the right word, it's on its way. Thank you. With a cup of purple that's being going back and forth for each of them. I can't believe it's taken us almost an hour to get this far. Oh no. Cup of red on its way. You 
you said that, just didn't start playing. It was great. So the cup of red needs pouring on here. Okay, do you now need this plant that is grown from the radish, not radish, and the red? Not that I know of. Then why did I grow it? I don't know. I've just got a recipe book that tells me how to grow these plants. Uh, uh, you can make the blue winged egg. The blue winged egg. Hang on, let me find it. Oh yeah, that's a great description, well done. Okay, what else do I need for the blue winged egg? This cup of yellow I've got, I need the train. You already have the yellow, you don't need anything from me? Don't need anything from you. Well, on its way. There's also the uh, purple one with yellow tentacles. Just needs that bucket of purple. The purple one with yellow tentacles. <laughs> yes. By that, do you mean the purple one with green tentacles? <laughs> no. I mean the purple one with yellow tentacles. That's how it's my monitor. One of our monitors is messed up and mine's kind of accurate. I'm assuming he means this. Either that or we're talking about different things. We could be talking about different things. Hang on, so the the yellow, green, whatever one that was also purple needed which? The bucket of purple. Plant number does complete. What do, do, do I need this other yellow bucket for the last one? Yellow cup, even. What do I need for the last one? Which was the winged blue egg. Oh my god, I'm talking without pressing the bloody button. The blue winged egg is the yellow cup. Now what on earth do I do with these? There is another one to make. Okay, okay, cool. There, it's like a, a yellow thing with a green hair, basically. I need a bucket of green for that. I'm not seeing a yellow thing with green hair. I think they're all in this area. Oh, it's two here. Oh, I think I might have it. Um, is it just green or is it like red on top of the green? It's just green on my side. Okay, well, we'll plant that here. And uh, what do I need for that? Uh, you need a cup of green, so I need a bucket of green to make you a cup of green. That seems somewhat counterintuitive, but on its way. <laughs> Maybe the bucket will drown it. I have to combine the, the bucket of green with a cup of yellow to make a cup of green, which is really weird. The game really messed up its colours after the last puzzle, I guess. <laughs>
cup of green on its way. Cup of green received. And I think I planted it in this thing. Is that all of them? That's everything in my books. Now I've got a machine here that can combine three things. I don't know what it those three things are but that's the only other thing I've got but I've got no information about it uh -huh. what do we do so I wonder if we've got to combine three of those seeds for or plants for something but I don't know what but which You can't, like, turn over the page in the book, or is there another book or anything? Negative. You just want me to send you the plants and we'll figure it out? Um, yeah, I guess. I have a spray pump canister, so I wonder if I'm supposed to use that for something. Not that I know what. Well, I'm sending you the plants. question is, which ones do I combine? I may have the answer for that for you. I think we're trying to make a poison. Right. So I've just found a document in my room. Uh, it's got a picture of the triffid uh, and a bottle of poison. And it says we need a red poison, a blue poison and a green poison. Okay, how do we make said poisons? Now I found that, I'm wandering around seeing what else I've missed. Okay, okay, okay. So remember those three, so red, blue and green. Well, let's just take one at a time, let's start with the red one. Yep. So for the red one, we need the aubergine plant, and I'm going to have to grow another mushroom and send it to you. Okay. Can I have the thing back? It's back. Cheers. I actually need to grow one. <laughs> so what am I doing that? Am I combining that? Is it just two things I'm combining or is it three things I'm combining for that? Good question. So I literally have a picture of the aubergine plant and the mushroom plant and with arrows pointing through the red poison. So I'm assuming you place two things in and maybe it comes out in the third place. Uh, I'm putting the mushroom in the cot now, by the way. Okay. I feel like this has a separate output. Oh, maybe all three poisons get combined together in that and then made into that. I think that's probably what it is. That's, yeah, that sounds likely. Right, so what's that? The mushroom and the aubergine? Uh, yes. Let me just triple check. Yeah, the mushroom and the aubergine. And to double check, the aubergine is the radishy aubergine that I said from earlier. Yeah, it's like a slightly purpley reddy colour. There's like three of them in a bunch and it looks like an aubergine. Combining now. 
I have a bottle of red poison. Sweet! So I guess you keep that if we need to combine them later on. So, we don't need a white poison, I don't think. We need blue and green. So the blue poison. Okay, so we do need the white poison to make the blue, the green poison. So for the white poison, um, we need the yellow with the green. Okay, so I'm sending you the yellow with the green, and I think you also can I have the thing back? On oh, its way. So I think you need to combine that with the uh, a bucket of orange. Combine what with a bucket of orange? So I am sending you a bucket of orange and the yellowy plant with the green top. Okay. Then when you combine these, it should make white. How orange, yellow and green make white, I don't know, but that's what it makes. I can't believe I missed these when I walked in here. I have a bottle of white. Great. Do you still have a... Uh, the, the purple one with the green or yellow bits, like tentacles coming out of the bottom? Yes. Combine that with a white and that should make you a green. I have a bottle of green. Is that one of the poisons that needs to go into the- uh, yeah. So I'm sending you now a blue thing with like four mini mushrooms coming out of it. Uh, and you need to combine that with the egg with wings. Roger that. On its way now. Well, that is a crazy plan. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? And then that should give you uh, blue, I think I said. And that should give you red, blue and green, which you can form to make um, black poison. They're all in the combiner. Combining them now. Black poison. Okay, send me the black poison and I will use it to kill the Triffid. Don't know why we want to kill the Triffid, it is so far not trying to attack me, but hey, there we go. I've loaded it into the sprayer. Ah, cool. The sprayer is on its way. I am armed. Triffid, your time has come. It's dying. Yay, recipe for disasters. A door just opened. Oh yeah, I got one too. No, I didn't. Maybe I can just go back through here now. Oh, this is the um, stone that I needed. How did I get to the journal? The log book. I think it was L. I'm in an area that reminds me of the starting area from last time. From the first one, sorry. Cool. Um, I'm back in my solar system room. I've also got a soul stone, I think it was called. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out where I go next. Roger that. I already We're going to pretend way. I didn't just press something and it make a weird noise. That's locked, so we mustn't be on that one yet. I didn't hear the weird noise, so if you hadn't told me, I'd have never have known. I 
I have like the paintings of um, a, like a, a stork with a snail on its back and that kind of stuff from the first one. No, I hated that one. That was where we came from. The double beat stork and oh, oh my god, that is a weird thing. A double beat stork sounds terrifying. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out where and if I'm meant to go next. Oh, well, this room doesn't look mildly terrifying at all. Lit with torches and like a big orange glow. Nice. Okay, well, we've got a cutscene. We're going to meet Judy Dude, Dude. Hey, over here. Oh, my days, that scared me. Ah, we are nearing the end, my friend. I'm certain the final piece and the way to create the soul stone itself are hidden somewhere in this very chamber. Now hurry, find it, go! We are so close, so close! God. Always so worried someone would touch his possessions. <laughs> what? I don't want to touch the goat's possessions. Um, what was your case scene about? <laughs> Callum? My cutscenes seem to always be longer than yours, which is weird. Yeah, you thought they'd turn up better. What happens in yours? Uh, they're talking about something being lost and my dagger that I've got grows a little bit more. Oh yeah, I forgot about your dagger. Um, so I'm helping Doody Dude, um, as I've named him, make a soul stone. And each area, I keep getting a piece of the, the puzzle. Uh, so now I'm in a room, and he says the last piece is hidden in this room. So I see your double beat stalks. Okay. Oh god, I can take the painting. I cannot. No idea what that is. Trap it. This is a picture really dark in here. I'd like some more light. Do I just move that around? Guess I just move that around. See if it does anything anywhere. Nope. Wait, what? I wonder if I've got to place them in a certain area. Or yeah, a certain maybe. order. Because I can take all of my paintings. So I wonder if you have to match the order they are in my room or something. Probably. Okay, I don't know if that's doing anything. Oh, look, there's a book here. I found the book, I'm going to read it. Here, I'm just moving. So it somehow interacts with that. The book made little sense. There's also a cuckoo clock, which is insanely creepy. Okay, so let's work on our working theory. Describe your room to me. Right, okay, let me, uh, let's start from the beginning of my room. So, you come down some stairs, there's these weird, um, like crystal type things, diamonds maybe, that you can operate, but they just make a weird sound. I have some paintings that are on the floor. Um, I have this weird, like, porthole thing with an orb on top of it. Chandelier. I have that some candles around a cuckoo clock as well um, and then I can go upstairs which is lined with paintings there's more paintings up here and a desk and a world map I guess that is okay that sounds like my room so I guess I'll start from the bottom of the stairs yeah can do
At the bottom of the stairs, I've got uh, the two big stalk with a snail on its back. Okay. Sorry, say that again. At the bottom of the stairs, I've got the uh, two big stalk with a snail on its back. So in my room, there's, they're like lining the stairs, and there's two at the bottom. Do you have that as well? That, that are like aren't on the stairs, like on the wall opposite the stairs. Yes. I've got one above the fireplace as well. I don't think I even. Oh, right. I uh, see the fireplace. Let's start there. Describe the one to me above the fireplace. Holy shit! Where do I start with that? So there's. It's like a lion mixed with a camel with a tail that's a stork or goose neck thing. Okay, I see that. For me, it's um, the third one up on the stairs. What is that noise? I was just turning something. Okay. Um, I have replaced that to be the third one up. I, From there, I took the same picture, but no gooseneck or snail on the back. No gooseneck or snail on the back. Yeah. Uh, what did you have above the fireplace? Nothing. Oh, okay. Okay, so then the next one round, which is on the floor, is a deuce, just single beat, with a snail on its back. I have that there as well. Awesome. Then the one next to that, um, also, it's, it's like mounted on something, is a double beat one. Okay, I've switched that. Okay, so now I'm at the bottom of the stairs. So the bottom of the stairs is... So it's a bird's body with a gooseneck coming out of the back. Maybe it looks like a kangaroo at the top, and then it's got like a snail over its ears. Yep, that's it. That's in place. Okay, the next one up is the one that I was turning. Um, I don't know if I turned it right. Uh, not on my side, but it doesn't move. So the next one I have is like a yellow, a, a red star in the middle, uh, with like roses surrounding it, I guess. Sorry, what, what were you saying? So the middle one on the stairs for me is is like a red rose in the centre. Then there's four smaller red roses in the corner, like around the centre red rose. Then there's like beds of roses on each side. I've got that there, but I can't do anything with it. If I click it, does it change for you? No. Okay, maybe you need to describe it to me. So, is it as I just described? Uh, no, not really. So, that center flower that you mentioned, only the uh, bottom two tiles make like half the flower. The top two tiles, the quarters of the flower in the top left and top right, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I've moved it to that, I guess. If you can't change it, maybe I just have to mirror yours to that. So it's now like the bottom half of a rose. Um, you know, there's rose bushes to the left and to the right, and the rest of the star is in the top left and top right corners. Yeah. Okay. Well, assume I have to do that. Uh, okay. So the next one, uh, I think it's the one that we did. It's the one that's got a snail on its back. Um, it's got like a neck of a bird with a horn on it, and it looks like a lion. The horn is blue and the lion has a blue tongue, if that helps. 
Yep, I've replaced that with that one. Okay. The next one, I can barely see. Hang on. My one is empty here. I'm just turning my monitor brightness up a bit because uh, it's so dark. Um, honestly, it's like a pretty much a, a black picture, but then it has like a beak and the eye of a bird. But that's like all you can see. You can't see like a body or anything. And then there's a couple of other blue bits on it. Right, okay. Was that making any sense to you? No, but we'll come back to it. It'll have to just be whatever the last painting is. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so the the last... I was looking like an operate. I also really can't really see it. There needs to be a way to get the lights on in here. Um, anyway, so the last painting that I can't operate is a kangaroo with a gooseneck. Um, and like a bird's body, and there's nothing like a snail or anything on it. Right, okay, I've I've got that there. So I'm left with either the the lion with a camel head and gooseneck or a portrait of someone. And where's that going? Where you can't see yours. There's also a thing I can move. I don't know what I'm doing with that. If I hold it, and it's light. What's that? I really wish I could just like pick this up. Do you have a painting? Sorry, you could offer me them? Do you have a painting just after that last one that you can operate? Yes. Right, because I've got one which I can't do anything with. Describe how it looks. Right, so there is, in the top left corner, there is like, um sort of a, a plant that's got like hearts for leaves red hearts for leaves in the top left and top right corner honestly it's so dark i can barely tell describe what's in the center um right in the center is for the uh bottom left middle and bottom right middle is the same as what I described for the top left and top right. Um, and for the top two, it sort of creates half of... Um, it's... The best way I can describe this plant is flames. Okay, yeah, I think I've got that. So I also have like an hourglass that I can move. I, does that make any sense to you? Hourglass that you can move. Where's that? So it started on the table next to the orb, but I can like move it around. I have no idea where I put it. I wonder if I've got one and I need to tell you where to put it. There also seems to be a few other things I can pick up. Uh, hang on. Try this one over here. Okay, I've got an hourglass, I've got a record player. I think I've seen the record player, but I can't find the hourglass. Where did I put the box? Right, the record player is upstairs behind the desk. There's like some shelves. It's on the back wall, bottom right shelf hole thing. 
hang on. So the shelves, there's like, so, so for me, there's like a, one on the first level and one on the second level. Uh, the shelves are upstairs for me. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the shelves, but I, I have an option where I can place it on like the, the bottom level like of the shelves or like the middle level of the shelves. Is it on the middle or the bottom? And the bottom level. I also found a box. It's like a leathery looking box. Looks fancy. Describe said box. So, I think it's wood actually. So it's like a wooden box. It's like a, a cube shape. Um, it's got like metal on each corner and there's like metal panels on it as well. I see it. It is on the desk downstairs, um, like in the centre of the room downstairs. On the left or right? On the right hand side, just before the scales. Okay, I found the globe there. Where does the globe go? <laughs> globe, where's it in the globe? It's like a mini globe. It's like on my end, there's like a big one next to the uh, desk. Ah, and the hourglass goes on the um, mantelpiece of the fire on the left hand side. Mantelpiece of the fire, left hand side. Where does the globe go? Chair on the left hand side of the fire. Chair on the left. Chair. Something happened. I don't know what, but something happened then. Did anything happen for you? I heard. Oh, I see a box is opened. Cool, cool, cool. I have a book with an S on it. You have a book with an S on it. Yes. It's a fancy looking book with an S on the front. Okay, so I found something else. So I found the cuckoo. Uh, what was that? Um, okay, so there's two more puzzles. There's a there's another painting one where I can like turn each quadrant round next to the cuckoo clock. And then there's like a puzzle on the cuckoo clock itself on the other side. Right, okay, I can see the painting on the left of it. Um, the flower in the middle make it... Oh, there could be two flowers in the middle. It's um, it's not the one with the thin-looking uh, green leaves going around the sides. It's the one with the thicker-looking ones. Just three flowers? <laughs> There is three flowers. Um, is it the one with the more overly shaped leaves or the one with like the spiky leaves? On the one that I'm looking at. Does that help? No. There's, there's one that's got like more overly leaves and one that's got more spiky looking leaves, but not like the really thin leaves. Um, it's, it's like nettle kind of leaves ish ish very ish okay i think it's right then what about the cuckoo clock uh what's the puzzle for that there's three levers that i can turn and a button to push okay what do they do They seem to make the clock strike. Uh, I can turn them to the left. Changing uh, the time. The time on mine is nine o'clock. And it just struck twice. Okay, hang on. So.
So I've got three hands. Do you see three hands? No, I've only got two hands. So there's like no nothing on your like the side of your clock. On the side. Oh god. Yeah. Uh the top one has like four notches in it. The middle one has one, two, three, four, five, six. And the bottom one has three. Okay, how many does the top one have? Four. I don't know how that helps me. Can you operate those or not? No, I can't do anything with them. Okay, how many does the second one have? Second one has six. So this is four, so that's like 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. That doesn't make any sense. I just found the S book. Yay! How are you doing with the clock puzzle? No, I have the yes. Found where I can place the uh, books. Oh, where can you place the books? So I've got a painting with E-S-P-I-A-N on it uh, and the bookshelf to the left of the fireplace I can place books in. I can also do that. Okay. Um, but let's ignore the clock for now. I found where the portrait one is. Right, okay. So if the stalk one with like single beat to, and with a chill on its back is on the floor, it's like to the left of that by the door. I can't place anything there. Oh yes I can. Okay. 
really was just rumours left there. Can name plaque under it for me as well? Yeah, I have that too. So you've got the, the portrait one. That sounded like something opened. Anything open for you? Negative. What I heard. Okay, let's starting with the portrait one, let's go around the room. Let's check we've got these. Okay. So we've got the portrait one above the name plaque. Yes. So the next one around, which is on the floor, is a stalk with a snail on its back with a single beam. Yes. Then next to that, on a, like a stand, is a stalk with two beaks and a snail on its back. Yes. Then next to that is a, uh, which is at the very bottom of the stairs, is a kangaroo with a snail on its head. And a stalk on its back. With like a bird body, yeah? Yeah. And one giant foot, yes. Yeah, one giant foot going up to like a bird body, the like back of the bird body is white, the front of it is like orange. It goes up to like what looks like a kangaroo, the kangaroo is wearing a snail as a hat. And there's a bird, like, neck that's biting itself coming out of its bum. Yes. The next is the weird painting. So, uh, like, the one that I can operate. Yep. So next is, like, the face looks like a bit like a lion, um, which is, like, in the chest area. Then it also goes up to a head of something with a blue horn. The lion has a blue tongue. Um, it then it has a single claw and a single foot. It has a weird looking tail and it has a snail on its back. Yes. Then there's the one that I can't really see, but it's like a bird face. Okay. We'll go to the last one. The last one for me is like, it looks like a kangaroo. A again, uh, coming down to like a uh, body of a single foot, the back of the body, like the wings is white, the front is like um, brown. And again, it's got a bird like neck with it biting its neck coming out of its butt. Yes. So that's right, so what are we doing wrong? Wait, what was that? That's me trying my uh, crystal puzzle. Ah, uh, time I hear that, I think something cool's happening. Well, I've turned one on. Turn one button. I've turned one crystal on. Two crystals on. Three crystals on. Four. Five, something unlocked. Yeah, I heard it. It's like a orb thing on a chest of drawers downstairs. I've got the P. I got the P also. I found it. Gee. That goes after the S in the bookcase. Uh. There's E S P I A N. I only got the S and P so far.
cool. Um, what else in this room? So I feel like what we're trying to do in general is find things that are different about the room and um, figure it out. So I'm looking at, like, there's like a few candlesticks in the room. Yeah. So I have one on the stairs, which is three candles and all of them are lit. And then there's the only other ones with some lit is like in the centre of the room. There are seven candles. I've been talking over you. Okay, so there's the three on the stairs which are lit. And then I've got one in the centre of the room. There's seven of which four are lit. Three on the stairs that are lit? Oh, over that, yes. How many are lit on in the center of the room? Four. Which four? Um, counting from left to right, so one is on, two is off, three is on, four and five are off, and then six and seven are on. So one, three, six, and seven are on. Roger that. Did you change that? Yes. Sweet. I'm trying to find another that isn't that I can operate. There's nothing seemed to unlock. Are we both looking at the candles from the same direction? That's probably a good question. Back to the fireplace. I'm looking at the fireplace. <laughs> okay, let me just alter this order then. So there we go. Where is that for you? Oh, it's on the other side. So the the, the painting of yours that has words on it. What are the words? Like the letters? E S P I A N. I have the same letters in a different order. I bet we have to place them in a different order. Ah, uh, it could be. Where, what opened for you from that? From the candle one, it was, um, the table the candle was on, if you had your back to the fireplace, the drawer opened. Ah. Uh. So, N, N, E, P, -E uh, I, A, S. We just need E, A, N now. So we've not succeeded on the painting one, and we've not succeeded on the 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 like twiddly around one. Or the clock. Or the clock. Describe, uh, so the one, the paintings we can move, describe the first one to me again. How you've got it. Uh, the ones that you can move. I can't move the paintings. No, the, the ones, uh, the, uh, puzzle ones. So start with the one next to the clock. Okie dokie. Is your room really dark? My room's really dark. Not particularly dark, no. Okay, so there's three options of centre flower. So there's one that has like slightly elongated, like overly leaves. Um, it's not that. There's one that kind of looks like like a Christmas tree leaf. So it's like long and thin, and there's like different leaves coming off it. It's not that. And then there's one where it's kind of like the, the leaves are kind of like a spiked, uh, like a soft spike shape. Yeah, is that. And that's like a complete circle in the middle. There's a complete flower in the middle, yeah. 
So that one, I think he's right. So the next one is at the middle of the stairs? I believe so. So, I have like two red flowers like in the top left and top right corner, like a quarter of them. Uh, it kind of looks like almost like a sun. And then in the top middle, I have like uh, a rose bush and it's like some little like leaves coming off it as well. And that's mirrored on the bottom. And then to the left and right, I have like a, like a, a, a rose bush again, but like the roses are more prominent and the leaves are smaller. And then in the corners, there's like maybe a closed, like a rose bird style thing. Right. So what what have you got in the middle? So in the middle, there's like two buds uh, at the top, like the middle, top left and right, and then there's like the sun-like flower uh, at the bottom left and right. Right, I think that's correct then. Okay, the next one is. Where's the next one? Uh, it's at the very top of the stairs, off to the right. It's another one that is nigh impossible to see. Um, so this time it's like white buds. Um, so I've got white buds in the bottom left and right. And then that's um, the top. The, so the middle top left and right is the same kind of like closed bird thing. Right, okay, you want, um, I don't know. There's one with, like, really thin, really thin, like, reddish leaves, uh, or, like, a flower middle, and then big green leaves on the outside. That should be at the top, so if you literally went to dead center of the, the painting at the very top, those two should be touching. If that makes sense. Oh my days. Keep holding your radio down and describe it to me again. The light from the radio is lighting up the thing. There's no colours without the radio being on it. It's really frustrating. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm walking around with a candle, which I think is helping me. Where did you get the candle? I've been like clicking on every candle I've seen. Um like a flower in the middle and big green Hang on, stop, stop, stop. Side. And that is that should be dead sense. Stop! At the top. Like, an un like the very top of the oh, painting. Where did you get the candle from first? That might make this far easier. I've had the candle since we did the light bulbs. Uh, with the water and that. Well, screw you, game. Okay, uh, I was trying to find the candle for all of that, so please, um, explain that again. <laughs> Right, so if you went from the centre of the painting all the way to the top, like on the outside edge of it, uh, but still centre, if this is making sense, it's uh, really thin, like reddish, um, like flower stuff, uh, and then big green petals on the outside. They should be touching at that top centre point. And then mirrored at the bottom centre as well. Hold your radio down, please, for a second. <laughs> okay, I think I've got that. What's at the bottom? So, at, at the very bottom, again, I'm talking by the frame, is exactly the same flower. And I'll hold my radio down again so you've got light. It's not lighting up the bottom of it. Um, so is that like a complete flower, did you say? No, it's not a complete flower. So it's the two halves of the flower at the very top edge of the painting by the frame and at the very bottom edge of the painting by the frame. Hang on, so what you're describing should be in each corner, essentially. No, 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 no. Um, so 
it it's um by the frame but in the center if that's making any sense it's on the outside edge but in the middle I've got to have missed like a light or something somewhere. This is like nigh on impossible. I'll hold it down just if it helps at all. It helps with the top of it, but I can't, it, like, it's not shining on the bottom bit. Right. Do you not have, like, candelabra stuff scattered around that, because I've got loads of candles lit in my room. I've got a big chandelier that's lit up as well. I have all of that. They're all not lit. Can you interact with them? No. Oh. Okay, you just hold your radio down again and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I'm literally cheating at this point and I still can't see what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Like, I literally just cannot see. Okay. Okay, the one by the clock, let's see if we can light that up with the thing as well.
I'll let me know when you're there. Uh, I'm there, sorry. <laughs> Based on the cheat sheet, I think I have this one right. Okay, so based, I, I definitely looked up a wiki at this point because like it's unfair that I, I I don't know if this is a bug, but it seems unnecessarily hard if it isn't a bug. Um, so I'm using a little cheat sheet just because I feel like it's so unfair at this point because I can't see a thing. So the one by the clock is definitely right, and the one on the stairs is definitely right. I just cannot properly see the top one. Right, okay. So the top of it's definitely right, but I just can't get a light on the bottom of it. Are you able to get on the desk or anything that might help if when we shine the, uh, the radio light it might help? I don't know. Uh, I can jump on it, but it doesn't seem to reflect off the painting when I jump on it. Right. I mean, if if the top's definitely right, then just turn the left one, rotate the right one four times, turn the left one one, rotate the right one four times until it does it, I guess. Maybe the top isn't right. It could be. Big green uh, leaves on the outside with like uh, beans on them is the only like lighter shades of green with beans on them is the only thing I can describe that as. And then like really thin tentacly like center bits of the plant that I can't remember what it's called. Okay, I'm just going to run around and check them all again because, like, random rotation doesn't seem to be working here. Okay. So that one's definitely right. Okay, the one on the stairs is 100% right. Okay. 
could you hold down your radio again for a second? Okay, it has to be because that's definitely uh, what's meant to be in the centre. But that does not look right, and that does not look right, and that does not look right. Okay, so this one, I think it's meant to be like these two up there, and then it's meant to be that one in each corner. Okay, so which means we're back to this one. Okay, let's have a look at this dude again. Okay, so I don't know if one by the clock was right before, and now it is. Okay, so this one. Yeah, it's wrong. That doesn't look like what's here. Base it on that symbol. Not that one. Not that one. Am I definitely looking at the right one? Could you hold that again? Sure, as my Twitch, da uh, Twitch dashboard was minimised. That doesn't look like that either. Let's go for it, I guess. The bottom, I can't see the bottom. I just don't get this. I don't see how this is possible without being able to see all the colours. Because what I'm looking at online doesn't seem to match up with what is in our theme. Right. It could be that it's randomly generated each time. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, let's start with the one i'm going to describe it to you this time and we'll see what you think uh, so i'm going to start with the one uh, on the stairs like the middle of the stairs on the way all right go okay so, <laughs> i can describe this one so many times it's the only one i can see clearly so in the top left and top right of the painting there is like a certain kind of symbol and that symbol is also in the center of like, the, of the bottom two tiles. Yes. Then there's like big bushes of roses to the left and to the right. Yes. That also matches up with what I'm seeing online. Okay. So let's go to the bloody clock. <laughs> I am there.
No, I don't know how we're gonna do this, but I need to your light. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Right, I'll hold it for a second. Damn it, it's really hard to remember. Hold it again, sorry. Okay, so the bottom of it, I've got like long, thin, lee like like red, and like slightly oval leaves. Long and thin. Is that like in the centre at the bottom? Yeah, sorry, centre on the bottom too. So on on very edge, but like the frame, but in the middle. No, so not not like the ones that look a bit like a Christmas tree. They're kind of like really long, overly. Um, Right, do you know what? Send me a picture. Holy crap, your room's lighting is messed up. But one is one, it looks like without the radio. That is an underscore. Right, that is wrong. That is very wrong. <laughs> that is very, very wrong. Um, the ones... Right, you want to turn... The bottom right one wants to the right, I believe. And it's that quarter of a flower that you need to make the full flower in the center. Give me some light, please. <laughs> Okay, not that flower. <laughs> oh, the actual <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um Yeah, not that flower. Just just make the next flower. <laughs> Light please. Not that one either. Next flower. I think I might have just understood the, what you meant by Christmas tree one. What the hell? What the hell is that? No, not that one. <laughs> the only remaining flower then, I guess. Oh wait, that's what I start with. It's not that one, it's not the Christmas tree one. And it's not that one. It's this one? 
Wait, he's not the first one I sent him. This is just so messed up. That is correct. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, but why did nothing happen? Because the one at the top of the stairs is clearly still messed up. Let's do the same thing. Right, okay. Light, please, when you get there. Right, so the the flowers that you've got in the top left and top right, you need to turn the top left one once to the right, and the top left one once to the left, which you probably have to go all the way around, I don't know. Um, and then it's that flower you need to mirror on the bottom. If that makes sense. Say all that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, uh, yeah, say it. Uh, I, uh, the, the, the... So, the flower you've got in the top left, the very top left and very top right right now, is the one you need to make in that centre area. And then you need to mirror that on the bottom if you can. I think that's what I've done. Right, but not in the middle. It, that flower is half of it's at the top, half of it's at the bottom. Ah. Like on the frame edge, if that makes sense, on the very outer edge. Kind of to like in the middle, at the top and bottom, or like like to the inner corners? In the middle at the top and bottom, but it's touching the frame. I heard something happen! <laughs> what was it? Where? Oh, one of the paintings lifted up next to the clock. Oh, this has to be a bug, surely. This has to be a bug. It has to be. It's so dark. My room is nothing like that. Like, that's the only way that made sense to me to do this and you're surely not meant to really be sending pictures on it on discord no oh still have to figure out the bloody paintings i think it might just be the clock itself right oh no we're missing two books crap we still haven't got one from just like the bloody paintings How can we have that wrong, though? Unless... I'm done with this, so we're just going to go around and I'm going to take a picture of each area and you're going to tell me if it's right or wrong. Okay, it's... Um, yeah, okay. I am done describing stupid animals. So I'm starting with the fireplace where there shouldn't be anything, so I'm not going to offer something a picture of that, okay? Okay, I have taken the picture that I literally just placed there away. So I feel like this one's definitely right. It should be the portrait with the writing on it. Yes.
Yep. Yep. What I can see of that. Let me say that one again. I don't know what that bitch was. <laughs> yes. Yep. Hold down your radio for the next one. Um, yes. Yes. What do we have wrong, Callum? I don't know. Or did it open somewhere we just didn't see it? because no, I've I've only got two places left to open. I've got a little lock box on a table near the clock and the clock itself. Did we really get that one then, maybe? We haven't got the clock yet. Okay, so the clock. What the hell do we do with this stupid clock that I want to punch in its stupid face? Yeah, that's right, Cookie. I want to punch you in your stupid face. So I've got, on the right hand side of my clock, I've got where like maybe a wheel or something would be, um, but I don't have a wheel there. I've just got markings. Describe the markings, like what, are they, what, what position are the markings in? So there's only like, there's different numbers of markings, so the top one has four like red lines on it. Send me a picture, damn it. You're about to get really jealous at how light my room is. I really am. <laughs> So the markings that are on your clock are where I can move my thing to. Right. So that doesn't help us very much, game. Does moving those change anything for you? Like, does it tick faster? Does the cuckoo change or anything like that I 
No, I can. Uh, let me listen to the ticking, actually. One. Mm, no ticking. I mean, can you interact with yours at all, or are they literally just markings? They're literally just markings, I can't do anything with them. I hate this game. Markings make no sense to me. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> the walkthrough, book number six. The first player has the vision to the right of the clock and the second has switches in the same place. I'm assuming yours is the divisions and mine is the switches. They are responsible for the sound of the clock, the beat frequency, and the sound of the cookie. The first player must explain this to the second player, and he must adjust the parameters of his watch to the clock of the first player. Wait, what? That's my reaction. What the hell does that even mean? The first player must explain this to the second player, and he must adjust the parameters of his watch to the clock of the first player. Okay. Right, so you've got to make your clock tick at the same pace of mine. Uh, well, same pace, same frequency, and the cuckoo has to sound the same. Or cuckoo, whatever it is. <laughs> I, I don't know how we do that. No idea how I can describe that. Is I'm going to stand in front of the clock. If you listen to my stream, and just match your clock to it. Okay, so we're now hearing the audio from Calm Stream. For the record, I'll turn my game audio off, so the only way I can hear you is in the in your stream, essentially. In your stream, essentially. Roger that. Okay. But I can't turn my thing off. That's bloody hell.
Okay, that's the same. So what's the next thing? Okay. So, so, so the sound of the clock, the beat frequency. Here's FIFA. One. 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 Okay, that sounds right, I think. Let the hell, okay. And then I can ping. May I take Alan's cookie, please? Your clock hasn't cooked you in ages. <laughs> Your clock hasn't cooked you in ages. Alright, guys. Well, that was apparently wasn't right. And can I, like, watch the pendulum for this? that work? No, it didn't. At this point, I'm just going to try fruit for six. It's still not making much sense to me. Fair enough. That's like a like, quite nice tip. Okay, that's right. I'm like 90% sure. I should push the button for my shape thing. Okay, it's not that. Okay. Okay, let's try the cookies. That's definitely right. There's got to be a frequency. Let me change the frequency, damn it. Damn it, I must call the stream. <laughs> okay, it's back. Oh, thank days. Nice. This is definitely the last level we're doing tonight. <laughs> I had to up to here with this game. Alright, we just need to figure out how to get the last book. Okay, so book six is the one we just did with the clock. Book five is the gem one that you did before. Book four is the candle one. Book three is the painting one. No, wait. Oh, no, book three is the uh, frustrating one. 
book two is the animal clock one. Yes, it, it, I don't think we've done the painting one. But how can we have got that wrong? Like, I've looked at the pictures you've sent me. They're... They're right. So we definitely got the first one right, which was moving the items around. And we know that because a book came out and I can no longer touch the items. According to the Definitely Not Cheating Wiki, one of the paintings is, like, meant to open up like the other one did to give us it. So I don't see any of the paintings which are open, which means I think we haven't done it. But how the hell we do it, I don't know. Like, in your beautifully lit room, do you see any anywhere with like a nice sleep, like, like oh, with the book or? Can you still hear me, by the way? Yeah, I can still hear you. I, I may have I forgot to press the, the button to talk to you. Cool. Okay, here's... Let's, so I'm still watching your stream, so let's just run around and we'll figure it out that way. So go to, like, above the fireplace. Okay, above the fireplace. Yep, yeah, I see nothing there. You see nothing there. Okay. Uh, the... The portrait one, so... Yep. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Next two, those two are definitely right. Okay, bottom of the stairs. Bottom of the stairs is right, I can't quite see the top of the stairs ones from where you are. That's the one with the blue stuff on it. Could you shut down your radio for a second, please? That's definitely right, it's basically identical to that one, but with blue stuff on it. And finally, the last one. They're all right! What is going on here? Yeah, yeah they are. Okay, let's assume for a second we did that one. So there's also the ones with the floral ornaments, which we definitely did. And then there's the one with the candle holder, which we definitely did. And the orb one, which we definitely did. And the clock one, so it's got to be this one. Is the game just bugged at this point? I guess. Is there something we're missing? What was wrong? I just picked them all up and put them back down. For the love of God game. I 
Uh, do you think you need my or my letters and I need your letters? Yeah, maybe. So mine is like... Wait, I just heard something. Mine is NEP IAS. What's yours? Sorry, E S P I A N. I keep talking without pressing the radio button. E S P I A N. Oh, my days. How do we get out? Oh, I see. A, a doorway next to the thing just opened for me. Well, where was I meant to get the image trap from? Well, I'm in a big area with a, an organ playing. There's someone there playing it, but I guess we'll figure that out next time. Oh, he's singing. Wait, hang on, hang on. D, hang on. No, wait, hang on. <laughs> no, we're done. We're done. Are we definitely at the end of this? Like, you're not going to have to do that whole bloody mess again. I'm just listening to this guy sing. The room I'm in now looks really interesting. Are we going to end here then? Yeah, can do. Uh, it's getting late and I, I do not have the mental energy to keep up with this. So I guess we'll be continuing. What was it going to be? Uh, whatever I said earlier. Later. Yes. See so you back in Team Speak for Outros or do you just want to meet for now and do that? Uh, yeah, we'll end and then uh, I'm muting team speak, I guess. Well, I'm just going to do mine here because I don't know what's going on. Um, thanks for joining us. Oh my days, that was a nightmare of epic proportions. Oh, we're going to finish this next weekend. There's only like two or three more rooms left to go. So we'll do that next week. If we're both available, which I think we are. Um, yeah, that'll be it. Um, thank you so much for watching our utter confusion and anger at this nonsense. Oh my days, I can't believe you just have to put them and put them back down again. At least, like, we were messing around with, like, the clock phases as well, but... Yeah, I've had enough. It's, it's good. And I hope you enjoyed our, our utter confusion and horror and terror and etc. I'm gonna say goodbye because it's, like, midnight and I'm tired and I'm gonna go to bed. Bye for now. See you next time. Roll V T.